I have one more here in the middle, please. It's a very important film for me. I gave a great deal of thought to it, 15 years, in fact. That was when I came up with the idea of making this film that's not directly about Africa because geography can be rather reductive in cinema. I wanted to show a face of Africa that you don't often see. Africa is a country from which people migrate, not necessarily for economic reasons, but for other reasons too. It was important for me to think about opening up this gaze. There's very often a European or Eurocentric gaze, as if that was all that made up the world, but there is another world that exists. There's very diverse facets of that world. There are two giants who have China on the one hand and Africa on the other. That's not to say that the other countries do not exist, but they are part of this world. They are part and parcel of the future as well. That's why it was important for me to talk about Africa and to present it in this context, but above all to talk about women, not just about African women, but women, women in their quest for freedom, their ability to go through all kinds of experiences, and I'm delighted to be able to make this film. Making a film opens up to the free imagination of the other, the person watching the film is as important as the one who has made it. I like people to deduce, to intuit, in a sense, what might happen. You see this strong woman who says no and leaves, and she goes off to China. She lives her own life. She takes her fate into her hands. She's looking for something. And you come back to that moment, which is a moment of choice. Seizing your liberty is something that all of us do as a lifetime challenge. Furthermore, that might inspire some people, be they men or women. It can inspire them to really take their own choices, emancipate themselves, empower themselves. We might share the different culture and they have different kinds of like uh, food or everything, but actually uh, we are all humans and we long for love, long for happiness and everything. And to me, that's the most wonderful experience for me, uh, working with the director and working with the whole film. We went to China now several times to look at the reality of daily life in China, in Guangzhou, in particular in Chocolate City. There's a large African community there. It was important to us to see what life is like for them on a day-to-day -day basis. That was very important for allowing us to write subsequently for all filmmakers. It's important to try and show the true face of the African continent. I think it's very important to show Africa with a strong, proud figure because there aren't enough stories told about Africa and there aren't enough good stories told well about Africa. There's not so many African filmmakers. That means you have to think about the kind of story you want to tell. We've had a difficult experience with the West, with those responsible for colonialism. And we are poor as a result of that and are growing increasingly poor. So there's a kind of perpetual and permanent injustice. Now the world is globalized. In a globalized world, Africa needs to open up to others and not be afraid of any partner. There's China, but there's not just China. There's Turkey, there's India, that's involved France, Germany, the UK. Things can change nowadays, however. The state of affairs can change if we African countries say to ourselves that we need to act to ensure that we're not once again dominated by other countries, for example, vis-a-vis -vis China. That is very important. 
We don't live in a world where the most important thing is the differences between people. People can learn to love each other very quickly, to like each other, to ask questions about each other where there are differences, because differences, after all, are a form of wealth, a form of richness. That was very important for me, but also because travel already gave me that vision of the world and of life. When I end up somewhere, I arrive entirely open, and when you're open, to the other, then you receive something. And I received a great deal, I must say. The last thing I want to say is that Black Tea is our collaboration, our work. Uh, it might be controversial, but I think it's a new perspective from, uh, from us, from Sisako, from African. And it's a new cinema that you might not seen before. But that's, our, that's from our honesty. We want to make the film, and then we want to present Black Tea to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.